What's going on guys, Jake here from The Fly Fiend. Thanks for tuning back in to another fly tying tutorial. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to tie a emergency emerger. I'm gonna throw a fresh hook in the vise and we'll get right into this tutorial. The hook I'm tying this fly on is a Firehole Styx 516 in a size 14. I have that paired up with a 3.5 millimeter slotted tungsten bead in black nickel. The thread I'm gonna be using is a UTC 7 denier in fluorescent orange. I'm going to start my thread right behind the back of that bead and cut out my tag end. And the first material I'm going to be tying in is our tail. And for tail, I'm just going to be using natural pheasant tail. And I'm going to get about four, four to five strands here. Just going to keep those aligned in my fingers. We're going to tie in a tail about the length of the hook shank. So I can just pull that a little bit. Just like that. And I'm going to keep those tails right on top of my hook shank while I wrap up. Just going to keep everything smoothed. And I'm going to put, bring that right back to the back of that bead. Then I can cut out my pheasant tail butts there. The next material we're tying in is our rib. And for our rib, it's going to be using uh, Uni uh, soft wire. This is black and a size small. You could also use like an orange color to kind of match the, the theme of this fly. Um, I like to kind of keep it just a kind of a dark rib, kind of match the bead. So I'm just going to tie that right behind the back of that bead on the side of the hook shank fa facing towards the camera. I'm going to take thread wraps down, securing that. Then I'm going to take thread wraps back up. This is going to create a nice slender um, body a uh, nice tapered body for me to uh, tie in my pheasant tail. So for the body, we're going to be using the same pheasant tail, just in natural. What I'm going to do, so I'm just going to secure it kind of like midway on the on the pheasant tail butts there. And I'm tying these in tip first uh, because they have a small taper to them. So I want this body to taper up towards the uh, front of the fly. So that's why I'm tying them in. I'm actually just going to pull them just so I'm not wasting any material and I can get the full length. Just like that. Now I can just take my pheasant tail, just make wraps. up this hook shank. Secure that nice and tight. I'm leaving just a little bit of room behind the back of that bead. I don't want to crowd that too much. Just a little bit there. And I'm going to grab my wire. I'm going to come underneath the fly. This is going to create a counter rib. And this is going to secure all those pheasant tail fibers in there so they don't get pulled out um, when you get your fish. So that's a lot more durability to the fly, just like so. So I just capture that off and just helicoptered it out. For the actual wing, we're just going to be using some uh, shore fishing uh, CDC. I'm going to kind of grab a, uh, a longer one here. It's just in a natural color. Easiest way I've, I've found to uh, tie this in is just put it right on top. You want the feather facing towards the front. So you don't have to trim this or anything. You just want to kind of put it on just like that. I'm just going to hold my thread a bit just to keep tension on it. And all I'm going to do is just pull, the, pull this feather back until all the little ones come to a point and uh, you're left with a tied in 
uh, CDC kind of backwards. All right, so actually making the uh, the wing part here, I like to use my whip finish tool. There's a little hook right on the end. Um, so I'm just gonna pull this feather up. You can kind of hook it in there, just like that. And you can kind of put pressure on it to determine how how long you want this uh, this wing. And I, I usually like to leave it about uh, the length of the body. So it's coming right to the back of that, um, the body there. Then you can just, just like that. Just capture that, throw one in front. I'm just gonna cut that out. Just like that, and there's your wing. The CDC is awesome. Um, it holds lots of water, um, lots of little air bubbles um, kind of uh, come out when you're fishing it. Nice natural, uh, nice natural material I use on a lot of my flies to give them action. So at this point, I'm going to create a dubbing loop. Grab my dubbing tool here. I'm just going to throw some uh, custom blended hairs here. I love this stuff. This is just mostly uh, guard hair from around the uh, the hair's actual ear or the uh, the hair's actual ear, um, all in those crevices and cavities around the the ear section. Holds lots of uh, good stiff fibers. This is what I'm using for the uh, legs. So when these actually get wet, they kind of hold their stiffness, so they actually look like um, little legs. And it just adds a nice little spiky bugginess to the overall fly. What I'm actually going to do is just putting this in right in front of my wing there. And you can fish it just like this. Um, I have another kind of uh, fly that I've been fishing uh, last year that was all kind of like a tan color with this um, emerger wing. Um, but this year I've uh, I've been tying these a little bit bigger in 14 and 12 for uh, steelhead. So I like to put a little hot spot on it. So I'm just going to grab a very small pinch of uh, ice dub. This is uh, the hot orange. You don't need much. You're just kind of Kissing this thread a little bit with uh, dubbing, just like that. Um, then you can grab your whip finish tool, make a nice four or five turn whip finish, and you can just cut it out. And uh, there you go. Awesome little pattern if you're into Euro nymphing as well. Um, could tie these from an 18 all the way up to a size. Uh, 12 like I'm doing for uh, migratory fish here but uh, there it is emergency emerger tie a few up let me know how you do with them um, if you like today's tutorial appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about the fly or any of the materials um, you can drop a comment down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you uh, if you want to purchase this fly I will have them up on my site at theflyfiend.com subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet Thanks a lot again for watching guys, and we'll catch you in the next tutorial.